everybody, it's Nikayla from Hooked in a Flash. Uh, if you'd like to find me, you can do so on uh, Facebook. It's Hooked in a Flash Crochet. Instagram is Hooked in a Flash. And then I also have my crochet patterns on Etsy, which is uh, Hooked in a Flash as well. A happy Wednesday today. As long as nothing goes wrong, I will be at Knit Night tonight. I'm super excited for that. That makes me happy. Um... <laughs> As you can also see, I haven't learned how to actually wear this. I'm not good at asymmetrical shawls or things, really, in general. Um, but I'm trying. Um, the yarn crawl starts Thursday. This Thursday, it runs till Sunday. There's 10 um, shops that are participating. And that's up in Portland. Uh, they do have uh, one in Washington and then one over in Beaverton, I do believe, as well. Um, so I'm participating in that this year. I did have to, originally I was going to try and do it all on Saturday um, because that was my only day available. But uh, reality sat in and I realized I cannot make it to all 10 stores in one day. So... Thankfully, my mom is coming to the rescue, and Friday is no school for my kids, so she's going to pick them up and take them for me so that I can go on Friday as well, <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Uh, I will be wearing this. Uh, if you guys are doing the yarn crawl, whatever, let me know. It would be awesome. I would love to see you guys and see what you guys have made. I'm very excited to do it. Um, yeah, it's the Rose City Yarn Crawl, if anyone is interested in looking that up, checking it out. So that's what I'm doing this week. <clears throat> there should be, hopefully, if everything went right, there should be the new Arne and Carlo sock yarn in stock at Teeswick Wools. So um, since tonight is knit night, I'll be going down and hopefully it's there and I will be purchasing it and I'll show you guys next week all the pretty colors. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's coming up. So that'll be a future purchase. Uh, even if it's not there um, today, I will be purchasing it as soon as it comes in. So uh, you'll be seeing those. I was going to cast on another pair of socks after I finished my other ones. Um, I just kind of got sidetracked, but I will be pass I will be casting on another pair of socks just to have, um, to switch you know if I need to switch from crocheting to knitting give my hands a little break from the crocheting for a little bit oh I keep pulling my hair today uh, so I'll have that just as my you know backup whatever project um, but I've also been thinking maybe I should start my husband's sweater that I've been putting off for forever now that it's getting you know warm and he won't be able to use it that's usually when I like to start a sweater I don't know. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> Probably socks, honestly, because once I get there and I see the new sock yarn, if it's there, I'm going to want to start it immediately. So we'll see though. We'll see what we do. Uh, let's show you what I've made. Uh, first, I did complete my Yetis. Uh, I did make 10 of them. They sent off on Monday. Uh, they should be there today. Yeah, today. This feels like it's too tight. I don't know what I'm doing with this sucker. Maybe I should look up YouTube videos on how to wear these. Anyways, uh, they ship down to California. They should be there today. And they'll be up on the site, I'm assuming, uh, within a day or two for that. So you'll be able to purchase those if you would like a Yeti. There is a bright white one and there is an off-white. This is the the off-white color. Um, it doesn't look very off-white until you put it next to the bright white and then you're like, oh yeah, it is off-white. So there is five bright white, five of this off-white. I made those up so that they could choose which one kind of they like better and then going forward, we'll just switch to one or the other. They are also ordering uh, ghosts. I'll be making up. I have a, uh, not a demo. Uh, I have one made up, uh, but I need to tweak it a bit. We're trying to figure out the best way that they want it. So I'm tweaking that a bit. And then I'll also be starting on an alien um, prototype. 
that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> uh, an alien prototype. I'll be making that up um, this week and seeing what, you know, what they want. And then they'll be ordering those. So that's what I'll be doing. But uh, since I've uh, finished that, I'm kind of on hold waiting for them to tell me what they would like made next. I did some knitting. <clears throat> so I'll show you my knitting. I made my daughter a little shawl. It's actually, I mean, it's not super little. It It's my wingspan, so it's probably, what, five feet or something. But I, it's, I don't have a pattern for it. I was going to do that uh, Ross has a, is like very something pattern that he is doing, and it looked really pretty, but... It's asymmetrical, and Delilah wanted a, my daughter wanted a triangle. So I skipped on that for right now. I might go back to that pattern, though, because it is really cute. Looks like it has a lot of textures and stuff. We'll see. But I just went with uh, garter and eyelets until the middle. This doubles each time. So I have four here, eight here, 16. And then I did a row garter and then I thought I was being super cute and I did seed stitch here but you can barely tell that it's seed stitch I wasn't thinking about the colors really muting that out you can see it when you're looking close but not not really I did a spine of eyelets down the middle and then uh, you know mirrored it all the way back down to the other side 16, 8, 4, end. Really pretty yarn. This was from Hobby Lobby. This was from my, um, <clears throat> this was, my husband got this for me for Valentine's Day. He got me four skins of yarn from Hobby Lobby. This, oops, Yarn Bee Katerina, and this is Golden Gate Sunset. Uh, 295 yards, 3.5 ounces. It's 100, per, or no, I'm sorry. 90% acrylic, 10% nylon, nylon, uh, looks like it is washable and dryable. Let's see, maybe I can tell you guys how much I used on this. Boop. 61 grams. Just over half. So this is a 100 gram ball. I used 61 grams on this. I'd probably be able to make a matching hat for my daughter if I wanted to do that as well. I might. She likes, she's a rainbow girl. So this is cute. I think, you know, it'll be so many. Obviously it'd go a little bit lower since I don't have the, but I think it's cute. I think she'll like it. And she really likes my big purple one, you know, so to fit around. It's not like, I mean, it's a decent size shawl, really. I guess you could even use this for an adult, especially if you blocked it. I will not block it, just so you guys know. Uh, loved working with the yarn. It's like a roving style, so it's loose. Uh, it did have a little bit of... Um, splitting issues just because it's like double wrapped really uh so you see there's it's it's like two different yarns wrapped together oops i'm going the wrong way see so that split a little bit it really wasn't that bad but i was using a size eight <clears throat> on this this recommends a size six i do believe yes six or a four millimeter i used an eight which is a five millimeter and I didn't have any problems, but I think that you probably would have it, more issues if you use that smaller gauge needle with the with the splitting. Um, one thing I did not like, there was a knot, which is fine. I expect knots every once in a while. It was one knot in there, not a big deal. But as you can see, they didn't match the color change at all whatsoever like it's not it doesn't even look like it's the same skein of yarn really 
but it kind of worked out because this the ones in the middle are more solid colors and then the ends just ended up being more of the speckled so that kind of works out a little bit but it, it's kind of just irritating a little bit to get a yarn that you're expecting to fade to have this line Delilah doesn't care she absolutely loves this she thinks it's great she has no problems with it but you know what I mean it's just a little irk thing I wish that they would just take a smidge of time and match the things up but didn't happen oh well so that's that um <clears throat> if for some reason you want to make this pattern up I can kind of give you a guideline on it. I, I have no intentions of writing it up as a pattern, but if you want to message me or something like that, I can tell you what I did. Uh, it's super straightforward. It's literally just um, eyelets, which is yarn overs, and then knit two together on this side, and slip slip knit on this side so that the they lean the opposite way from each other. Uh, yeah, it, it's super simple. So if you want that, let me know. I can write, write it up for you. I cast on five and I just increased on one side and then decreased back down on the other side. So it was super quick. I started it yesterday. I finished it this morning. It was a very quick little thing. So, uh, the other thing that I finished was actually maybe... I'm gonna kind of go into what I got first because it explains that a little bit more. So I went in on a set of needles with my friend Melissa who wanted the small set of needles. Um, but if you bought, purchased the whole set as one, it only ended up being $60 for a set versus 80 uh, on Amazon. So uh, we put, I just threw out all my needles, oh my god. That was dumb of me, that's a, okay. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, I purchased the big set, she got the small set. It came with three lengths of needles. I'm really sad right now, guys. Uh, okay. It came with um, three th links of cables, is what I was trying to say. Six needles, three links of cables, and it, uh, I'm super happy. I'm very happy. I will buy the four inch ones. See, these are five inch. These are the four inch. The four inch ones are more for hats <clears throat> and smaller stuff like that. So I will be getting those eventually one day. I'm in no real rush to get them just I'll probably purchase them a little bit at a time like you know just buy one at a time because I do want them I'm using them specifically for hats so if I uh, purchase them I'll buy an eight inch needle and then I will um six I'm sorry I just I have to do this apparently all right all back. I'll buy an eight inch cable. I'll get my set of the larger ones and that way I can make chunky hats and stuff like that. Uh, so that's that. It is nice and full now. She, uh, she got the case because I didn't need a case obviously. And that went into these <laughs> because I had the bigger needles I wanted to you know just mess around with them try them out so I made a just a headband with seed stitch I made it flat and uh, sewed it together at the end it's nice nice and stretchy it's just a whatever you know let's see two four six eight ten I did eleven so I didn't have to think about it you could if you do an odd amount for a seed stitch you can just turn around and do the opposite way and it's it's not going to mess you up at all so that's why I did it so there's that this is a chain spun yarn 
it was from Teasawick Wools, but it was a sample, and I totally threw out the tag because I'm an idiot. Uh, and forget that I do these videos and tell you guys about this stuff apparently. So I don't know what it was, but it was from Teasawick Wools. I do know that it was a wool acrylic blend uh, and it is chain spun. If you can see that, it's really nice. It's really pretty soft, nice stuff. So I used the whole ball because it was, I used that. I made a matching uh, bracelet because why not, right? And that's made the same way. This is uh, this was actually four, so I did pay attention to what I was doing on this. But I didn't like the width of the five. I wanted a four. So that, and then I made a big, chunky hair tie as well. Boop. And this is a uh, made with I-cord, and I put six on just the same way I do my other ones. Here's one sitting right here. This is the same thing. Exact same length and everything like that just bigger yarn <laughs> so that's that i'm very excited about my chow goose um yeah <clears throat> now that i have those i will be getting rid of a lot of these because i don't like the cables on them i don't need them now since i have these i will be keeping a couple of the larger ones like those purple ones are bigger than the ones i have so i'll be keeping that kind of stuff but Everything else I'm gonna go because if I not if I don't need it, I don't want it right now. I don't like I don't like the clutter of it all. Uh Joanne. Oh no, sorry, Michaels had a clearance event going on. And we picked up some yarn. It was like $2.97. I picked up two cakes of this Karen Latte. I also have a third one that my friend Christina picked up for me. I didn't think that I was going to be able to go. So when she went, there was it's a gray and yellow um, one that I really, really wanted. And she picked it up for me, which was good because when I went, these were the only two left. Which are beautiful, but they're not the gray and yellow one that I wanted. <laughs> so I'm excited about those. I don't know when I'm going to be able to try and work with them but I really like I don't know I think it'll be fun it's like fuzzy you see how it's fuzzy I think it'll be fun I don't know what I'm gonna make with it something this is I guess I could tell you what it is okay Karen latte cakes 50% uh, 58% acrylic and 42% nylon it's 250 grams 530 yards for 297 it's a good deal. Uh, this is, uh, looks like washer and dryer, uh, washable and dryable. Yep, machine washable and dryable. And let's see, does it say if it's a four weight or anything? Oh, uh, this says it's a five bulky. Um, it seems more like a four to me. I think maybe they're saying it's a five because of the fuzzies. But the yarn itself feels like a four. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. <clears throat> Next, we did get some of this yarn too. I couldn't find the actual yarn because I got it for my daughter. And my daughter, is she's finger knitting. And so she made up a whole bunch of these bracelets. And she's been knitting away on these. Um, but we picked up this chunky stuff because that's easier for her little fingers. And it makes it better, obviously better little bracelet so good job delilah i'm super proud of you just making that sorry my dog is barking i also picked up this for my daughter this is the loops yarn it is 82 percent acrylic 13 percent nylon five percent polyester uh, and 100 grams 16.4 yards so and it was 290 297 on clearance I still feel like this was probably not the best deal in the whole world since it's only 16 yards but my daughter has been really wanting to try this yarn so we picked up one for her I got oh actually maybe this is the same as what she got I think this is chunky velvet I picked up a brown one to make maybe a bear or something. 
some sort of animal. Uh, this is wash machine warm, do not bleach. Uh, this is dry flat on this one. It's 100% polyester. This is taupe. I uh, haven't been telling you guys the colors. Sorry. This one here is shocking teal. And this one here is mineral vineyard. This one is Rose. Sorry about my dog, guys. Uh, so, taupe. I'm just going to try this out. For It was $2.97, and it is um, 44 yards, 200 grams, 7 ounces. Again, I don't know if it's the best deal in the whole world, but uh, if I don't use it, my daughter definitely will. So, it, it was worth it to me for $2.97 especially. Try it. Now the other one's going. Sorry guys. Someone is walking kind of close to my house. Not even really. Uh, and then this, the tag totally came off of this. It's a hot mess. And this uh, also $2.97. It's the Crushed Velvet Burnett. It is This is cream. I don't know what color this is. It's a pink color. 100% uh, polyester, 300 grams, 315 yards. It says it's a bulky five. I agree with that. And looks like you can wash and dry this. Machine wash and dry. Or just wash and dry. Actually, it has a hand, so probably hand wash. Um, yes, I got these because um, right now it's really popular to make toys with this velvet stuff. So I'm gonna pick some up, uh, hopefully make up some patterns for those and get those all um, set up on Etsy and done and everything like that. See if anyone wants to buy a crushed velvet something or another. Um, those were the only two colors available when I went in. The, the cakes, those were the only colors that I had. This was the only color. And then there was only two colors of that as well. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. This chunky velvet one, there was a gray as well. But I decided um, just to go with the just the brown. Because I have no idea what I'm going to make with it. Uh, I don't know if this is even going to make something with only that small amount of yardage. But I know this will make something for me. I don't know what I'm going to make with it. But it'll make something. You know, I could make a bunny. Mmm, Easter's coming. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll make a bunny. That is all I have. I feel like that kind of went off a little bit um, from what I wanted to go with it, but <clears throat> that's okay. So, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know down below. If you would like anything, uh, any tutorials or anything like that, I have been putting up uh, beginner tutorials. If you're learning how to knit or crochet or anything like that, let me know. I can put those down below. If you would like to learn how to make these hair ties, I am setting up to make a video to show how to make them because they're super simple. Um, I just need to... Uh, set up it's kind of hard because I, I do record right now on my phone so I'm having a hard time propping it up and then having my hands in front <laughs> it's just awkward for me so I'm trying to set up a different uh, way that I can have my camera so that I can um, show you guys what I'm doing but eventually that'll be coming up and that's it that's all I have I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week if you can come down to knit, what, knit Night at Teeswick Wools, it goes from 4 to 8. If the doors for some reason are closed, because usually they close them at 7, uh, you can call the store and they will um, they will open it. <laughs> um, but usually most of the people that come are there by 7 anyways for Knit Night. And I will see you next week. Hopefully with new sock yarn. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye.